can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta well, I was supposed to be here last two weeks ago. Um, but I talked myself out of coming down because I didn't think what I would say was going to make a difference to you. So I, um, I'm glad you changed your mind. Well, I'm, I'm glad I did too because to tell you the truth, I didn't do well the rest of the day thinking that I, I was actually down to park and I talked myself out of coming upstairs. I want to address the issue without any prejudice because I'm not here for anybody but myself about Mr. McCray and Mr. Curtis's events with the city of West Palm Beach. All right. Um, I'm not here representing them. I'm only representing my family and the memories of my family. That's all I'm here for. Okay. <clears throat> I think we all in this room have been discriminated against in one point or another in our lives. Everybody has. One of the things that I'm thinking we have to do as a community here is agree that we have problems and be able to solve them. We have to agree that we have them before we can get past solving them. That's with anything. That's with money. That's with, that's with family. That's with children. That's with anything. My problem is, is that these gentlemen did the right thing by our, our society standards. We're taking their causes to court. They went to court. They won their cases. Now, just to give you an idea of how bad our society is about prejudice and about discrimination, not necessarily racism because I'm not about that, but um, if you can actually look around here, there's only about 20 people here. And for two people of their magnitude, one being a firefighter, their records I'm not sure about, it's not my, that's not my, my dog in this, in this fight, um, and one's a policeman. There are no, there's no one here representing them as two men who have won discrimination cases against the city of West Palm Beach. For me, as a father, as a brother, and as an uncle, that is extremely tragic. There's no NAACP here, there's no Urban League, there's no police union, there's no firefighters union. There's no, we have probably within 50 miles of this, of this building some of the greatest law firms in the history of the state of Florida. Nobody's taking up that cause. I'm, I'm just amazed. I, I just don't see it. And I'm sure all of you here, all of you here know better than for this to keep going on and spending money, going on and spending money. Why can't we just agree that we do have issues in our society with discrimination, with prejudice, and work through it. I don't understand that. Uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I noticed that whenever somebody came up with a proposal to, about money and about power, everybody had a comment. I'd like to know if I can get some comments from anybody on staff, please. Thank you, Mr. Ruffin. It's okay. not our practice to comment on public you don't. comment. Okay. We don't do that. Well, um, I see my time is up, yes. so I'd just like to say one other thing, please. Quickly. I would be here if Mr. McCray's name was, was, was uh, Keith James, if it was Morrow, if it was Robinson, if it was Moffitt, if it was Mitchell. I would be right here doing the same Thank thing. You. So I just want you to know that. Thank you. All right. God. Thank you for your time. Thank he called my name and my heart stood still When he said, John, go do my will Go tell that long-tongued liar Go and tell that midnight rider Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter Tell him that God's gonna cut him down Tell him that God's gonna cut him down